so we have um, search test switches. In fact, let me uh, let me flip over my piece of old paper here. We have a power plant. We then have the uh, what is it? It's like a I mean, it wasn't really part of the factory, it was like some, some sort of place with the barrels and the robot going back and forward. Uh, what, what, what are we going to call that? Warehouse? No, uh, it was a furnace, wasn't it? Then there's the security office. Uh, and then beyond that was the factory. Then there's the crash. So between... Oh, and then the elevator is there somewhere as well. So the elevator is here. Which means that there's a cable here. There's a cable. Search thing. There's a lathe. Fuses and the chassis. But we need a rad suit. Okay, we've got some places to go. Let's save it and check out the security office. It's a link terminal. It's a link terminal. I wonder if it'll be exactly the same. Oops. Oopsie doodly. Go back. Carefully this time. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Let us go get that guy's eyeball, do I? Yes. I'd like to... Is this regarding a domestic incident? I've been transferred from domestics. I have this tendency to get emotionally involved. You're too sensitive, Sam. It's my nature, Norville. It's not about a domestic. That's a relief. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. That was easy. I'd like to join the security services. Are you kidding? You mean you're volunteering? That's right. I heard it's a great life. It is. But you're not hard enough. You've got to have tattoos and stuff. Really? I'm almost certain that tattoos are very much frowned yeah. upon in such services. I'd like a few answers. Yes? Yeah. How do I get down to ground level? Who is Overman? Who is Reich? And why was he killed? What? You can get information from the Link Terminal. Just who are you, anyway? I'm here to inspect the building. Yes? That's right. Routine inspection. Yes? Heard anything about an inspection, Sam? What kind of an inspection, Norville? A routine inspection. Routine, oh, that's unusual. It's not convenient right now. Quit pestering me when I'm busy. Well, at least these guys seem to be completely and utterly incompetent at their jobs, so that saves us from being blathered. You don't exactly. That elevator leads to security HQ. You don't exactly just go in there and be like. Why is someone dead?
Having a problem with your card? Let me check that for you. He, he pointed a gun at me. I mean, I, I saved, so I'd be quite amused to see what happens if you actually do show him the card. It's kind of... He's likely to believe that the card is coated with, with porridge. That would probably uh, work. Okay, I, it's going to be amusing, I think. All right, here's my card. Hmm. Looks just fine. Really? Must have been a glitch in the scanner. God, this guy is really bad at his job. I'm just going to... Just going to... Okay, so there's a way up to HQ. Oh, last I put those in the wrong place, didn't I? <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, let's go back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oop, he's so mad, but he won't give up now. Let's go back to the exit. Now then. Let us attempt to stop this here machine. The metal bar is too thick to push in there. Okay, good thing there's a stampy press machine in the other place. Yeah, yeah. That probably isn't it, but uh, there's a hydraulic press for a reason, and that's probably it. <laughs> God, it's a long way back to the factory, isn't it? Go, go, go! Right, get that metal bar and put it on the press. No. That would have been too simple, I guess. Uh, but then there is a lathe, and we can get the guy out of the room. That kind of makes more sense. Okay, so we step on this. An elevator to the... Really? The th alarm doesn't go off anymore. Ah, oh, poor robot. Yeah, what you gonna do, robot? That's what I thought. Oh, he's gone. Okay. It's a lever with a big red knob just waiting to be pulled. Do it. Perfect. It's more impressive than the ones back home. That's probably not difficult. It must be controlled by the computer. Okay, so there's nothing to take out first, I guess. No? There must be a secret combination. It's like a helpful instruction thing lying around here. There's, there's a cupboard door. Oh, a wrench. Well, I guess that makes more sense. I'm disappointed. Come on, I had this great plan and everything. It's interesting you can't select the laser anymore. Oh well. Uh, just throw a wrench in the works. Will work. 
I'm sorry, but whenever I want to talk to you, I keep looking that way, because the camera used to be over there, but I moved it there so that you could get a better backdrop. If, if, if you prefer, the camera's over there. It's one of those things, it's like, you want the person to be looking uh, at the game, and then I could do a side like that, but then you don't get the, the cabinets in the tree behind me. I don't know. One of those other things that's uh, up in the air about, about the, the setup. Hey, Joey. Just about catching up, huh? Not, uh... Not wanting to work your servos too hard. I understand you've got battery power to consider... Did I try using the console? I don't understand. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't understand it. Let's see if this wrench will do the works. That's really put a wrench in the works. Oh no! Production stopped! You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? Me? I'm no technician. Me neither. Lamb will go crazy. Can't you do anything to help me? I could get my robot pal to look at it. No thanks. In my experience, robots spell trouble. Oh well. I'll pretend I didn't notice it. That the robot or that production has stopped? Okay, let's go ahead and get Joey a better chassis. Joey, you might want to come back this way. Hello, Ribbit. A ro it's a robot welder. Joey would love that shell. I hope the robot welder isn't sentient. Do you want a new shell, Joey? I hope this isn't a wind-up. Because if it's sentient, then that would be an issue. Ethically, I mean. Not gameplay-wise. The shell is bolted to the chassis. Never mind. It's a robot Joey would There's no access... Can I take the wrench back? So I need to be able to undo the bolts. The cogs are wrecked, but the wrench... I'll keep this wrench. It's really useful. Okay, that's fine then. That's... There you go. Bam! 200 IQ. <laughs> ah, stop it. I've loosened the robot's shell. The shell is loose now. Okay, let's try this again. You want a new shell, Joey? I hope. Yeah, come on, come on. I guess I get. We don't have all day here. Excellent. Okay, that's not quite what I was expecting to happen. I almost feel guilty for stealing its body. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Yes. You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! And cut that out! You know, until quite recently, that, uh, well, I say recently, that wouldn't have made sense to a lot of people, because Doctor Who was off the air for a long time. Okay, so now we have a welder. 
now use that to, you know, cut stuff open, such as the security panel and X, Y, Z. Uh, Joey? Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. I could melt through it with my welder. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Very, but I'm feeling reckless. And welding is fun. Take care, Joey. Garnier. I do need to paint this camera thing. It's just, it's just, my plans are this. This is currently just MDF. Uh, I need to put like some LED strips either side of it to get a better light. I'm just using a lamp here, which is way too intense. And you've got a little, little nice little yellow hotspot. The whole, the whole thing looks horrible right now. Look at that. Ugh. And the white balance constantly change. Uh, I'm sorry. Have you done that, Joe? How's it going? Never mind. So if that's done, I can now walk in there, right? Yes. Good. Wow, now that's a storeroom. Hello, WD-40. That's, that's, that's a brand. Joey certainly made a mess of that. No way I could fix the wiring. It's probably for the best. It's a heavy metal flap. I'm gonna hope that that is actually structurally secure, but just in case, I, I'm sorry, but I, I have King's Quest syndrome. Lubricant. This stuff is always useful. Yes, lubricant. Wow, they went to a lot of effort on that coat flap on the uh, items there. The key has bulwark stamped on its shaft. And it is, in fact, WD-40. I don't see anything else in here, so I believe we are done. We've got the chassis, we've done the fuses, we need a rad suit. In order to... Don't move! I have to search you! What for? I'm not a criminal. It's the supervisor's orders. If anything's missing, I get the blame. Hey, that tickles! Open up that coat! Why are you carrying that crowbar? It's got sentimental value. My mother gave it to me. Is that a wrench? I carry it for luck. You're a walking toolbox. Blimey! Smart shades! Stick a ham if you like. Really? Oh, I could fix them with sticky tape. Is that a can of lubricant? Yes. One squirt is just the job. I'd never be without a can of lubricant. You are now. Cause that can is mine. You nicked that key, didn't you? Thank you for your cooperation. By the way, sweater you're wearing. Don't laugh at my sweater. Oh, I'm not. I think it's brilliant. Will you swap it for my clipboard? Not in a million years. Man, he really loves that clipboard. So he must really love that jumper. But I guess I didn't get either the key or the WD-40 then. Are they... No, they are just gone. Okay. I wonder if they come back later, or if you have to take them from him. I'll have to search you. Your way. Well, thank you for. Do I have to knock him out. Excuse me. Okay, that's not knocking him out. I've got a present for you. Oh, maybe it is. Bribery, is it? Well, that won't work on me. Excuse me. I've got a present for you. Bribery. Hmm. 
I mean, you could just totally knock the guy out. Never mind. <laughs> okay. At least I can add that to the, uh, the old map. So we've got a key for Bulwark, and a Count WD-40. Not immediately sure what we'd use either of those for. I mean, maybe the Bulwark works in the power station, but why the power station key be in the factory? I haven't seen any radiation suits either. Where does that leave me? That leaves me with trying to get the WD-40 and the key back. I haven't really done anything in the power station yet, but what can I do there? Fancy doing some welding, Joey? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim? You can't go using your welder on people. Oh yeah? Who says? Asimov's Laws of Robotics. That's fiction, Foster. It's just something some guy made up. It's sound moral sense. Anyway, what I had in mind was that cable. This sounds like a job for Captain Welder. Okay. Okay, the cable is now fallen down. Was that desirable? I guess maybe we can get it later on when we uh, use the elevator. Never mind. I don't think there's anything else at the crash helicopter. Sorry, helicopter. No, it is just one big wreckage. Hey, what? That is a, t a touch annoying that you have to go through all these uh, animation frames and then they have to get into physical position. It's like, just, just hold a conversation. Is your coat made of real fur? That's right, real beaver fur. Made from the last ten beavers in the world. Do you like it? It's totally cool. And expensive. See you later. Just from trying to grease them up, don't worry. Never mind. Maybe there's more dialogue open. I don't think there's any point going back down here. Is there? I don't think so. Go on, Jerry. It's marked Sir. Wonder if there's anything to say about the surge test control. Don't oh. mind me. I can see you're busy. Go on, Jerry. Thank you. Try press. Nothing's happened. It's marked. Try press. Nothing's happening, Rob. Try pressing the. No. There's a safety to that. No, I can't do it fast enough. I don't know. Maybe it's not that you have to push both at the same time. Or feel like the uh, the right thing to do. Okay, he's gonna stop me from doing anything with this. How do we get rid of him?
I've got something for you. I'm not interested. What about a wrench? Want this tool? What's that supposed to be? It's a wrench. You what? I said, you what? This is a wrench, mate. That's more like a toothpick. Size isn't everything. Wanna bet? Don't mind me. Interesting, interesting. I like that they've actually put that uh, special interaction in there. That's the sign of a game that someone spent a little bit of time just putting fluff in that isn't actually part of the experience, that it adds something, you know? Too many games these days are all about uh, these are the things that happen in this specific order. They don't put enough time and effort into the stuff that some people may just never see. Okay, let's see what we can do here. There's one born every minute, eh? That'll teach him not to use stolen ID. Finally, a King's Quest ending. Though I would, should truly be a skeleton, not to... Uh... Still, at least I know there are failure states in this game. Look what I found. We don't deal with lost property. <laughs> yes, yeah, you didn't answer. Didn't I make myself oh. plain enough for you, lame brain? You can get information from the link terminal. Now, scram! While you've still got the use of your legs. You shouldn't get yourself so worked up. Oh, hell. I'm sorry. It's my nerves. Never mind. It's a link. If I just use the terminal again, it's going to give me exactly the same stuff that we got before. I wonder if there are more ID cards that we can get. Alright, looking at the old clock, I think I'm going to call this set here, make sure that uh, modifications and what have you haven't thrown everything out, out of whack. Do let me know in the comments what you think about having the the paper down here, Ra rather than having to have a bonus video of me at the, the, at the end of all this showing you the pages, you can just see what I'm doing right here. The, the, this, you know, the, this is the, the fundamental point behind having this whole... Sorry, I'm not looking at you again. <laughs> Between having the camera here and the camera there. So that if I'm drawing a diagram, you don't have to have to listen to me going, and I'm going to connect this line here, and do this dot here. Because as amusing as that is, that you can see me doing it live is surely a better thing. And about uh, camera position. Would it, would, it, would, it be, would it be better if I... Uh, is the cable even long enough. What is it? It's caught on something. What is it caught on? It's caught on an HDMI switch. There we go. If I put the camera over here instead, uh, something like that, that's kind of what it would be like. I'd be sitting here playing the game, look at me, I'm a cool guy, and I'd be like, here's a witty aside, totally looking at you. <laughs> so yes. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until then, I'm Raven. And that's all from Beneath a Steel Sky.